Top of the morning to everybody. Okay, I'm going to do something a little bit interesting. I'm going to work on something called Overture. Um, we have a little bit of a title that we need to do. Here's what we have. Look, I got new updates. Yay! Okay, I'm going to open up a file in Overture Media Designer. Actually, what I'm going to do is create a new title. Um, and this will be kind of fun. Um, what I've done is I have created a file or a video file with the animation codec uh, using motion. And it is 1920 pixels wide by 300 high. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a video clip. And the one I'm looking for in particular is this one called Bonita. So I add it in there, and you can see there's something here, and I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom because it's going to be a lower third anyway. And just to show you what it looks like, let's play it. Okay, it comes in with the logo, says Victor Flores, wow, that's what they call him. And it goes for a little while, and then it will go away. Okay, it's only 10 seconds long. But you notice as it plays, there is a spot later in here, just a little bit in, where all the action stops, about right here at five seconds. And now it all goes away. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of things. First off, if we look at, the, um, at these things, this shows you your image placement. This has to do with text and things. It shows you your input information. This right here is effects. What I'm looking for is compiler. This is the name of whatever this is. If you have 20 elements in here, they're all going to have different names. So I'm going to give this one a different name. That's the name of it. Bonita. Why not? Okay. Now, with a video file, the encode from build does not fade. It just doesn't do it, so we don't have to worry about it. But what we're going to do is right-click on the object and go into Properties. And this is, where, this is where we're going to create a loop. And I said it was five seconds into it. So that will be 150 frames right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a fade point and I'll go probably 160 frames and insert another fade point and if I go here to this first one I can right click and I can hit hold until fade out And what this will do is everything from frame 0 or frame 1 on to frame 150 will play. And then from 150 to 160, it will just sit there and loop back and forth throughout this part. So if I click here, you can see it says repeat once. Click here, it says hold until taken out. And then here, it will say repeat once. And this is the fade out point. So this will do the rest of the animation leaving. Now we have to remember that this is five seconds long on the fade out point. So whoever's going to do this has to cue it out five seconds before it goes away. Okay. And there is no fade out. I could create a fade point and bring it down and do that. But I'm not going to do that. Okay. So I just hit OK. And now I'm going to compile this. This is how you build your project. Um, now what's cool is I haven't saved this. So as soon as I hit this, it's going to ask me to save it. So I, hit, I say yes. I'm going to call it Bonita. And it's going to replace my old one. Oh, I must have caps lock on. Weird. It already exists? Yes, I want to replace it. And then it compiles the media. Now remember, this little piece right here was called Bonita over here. So it's compiling the part here, Bonita. 
once it's finished with that, then I can upload it to the name dropper and it will, it will act the way it's supposed to act. Now, I know this was a real quick thing that I did, um, but the reason I did this was to show you how to loop it, not necessarily how to add videos and add text clips and things like that. I wanted to show you how to take a video, a little video clip, and make it stay until you decide to tell it to go away. Usually your clips are 5, 10 seconds long, and they'll come on, and then they'll go away right away. This allows you to make it stay there until you hit the out button. Now let me show you the, um, well, let's transfer this. Okay, what we have over here is our list of media. And I'm going to grab Bonita here and drop it in. And there should be another Bonita down here. Bonita EKP and drop it in. And then once it's done transferring, we'll see it on this list here. But this list isn't what we're concerned with. Uh, what I'm going to show you is... Okay, so here is our name dropper. This is what somebody else will see. And when they go to media, they'll see all these clips. Okay? Once it's done, they will see one here called Bonita. And they'll be able to cue it, make it go in, make it go out, disable it, whatever they want to do. So what they'll do is they'll hit in, and it will come up and start to play. And then it will loop until they hit out. That's what's going on with this one here. These ones are in. They actually used these to get them in because these are EKPs. These play several files at once. So they'll hit E or they'll hit in and O1 will come up and it will loop and it will stay there. And O2 will stay there until they hit out. So what they do is they hit out when it's time to go on both of them and they're done. So that was just a quick tutorial on how to loop a video in uh, Name Dropper. Something I figured out a little while ago, and it was pretty neat, and I was pretty excited once I figured out how to do it. All right. Okay, so these files have now been uploaded. So now the next time I go into that Name Dropper web page, we should see them. Okay, so here's a web page. I hit media and I can see Bonita and Bonita EKP. And that's it. All right. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching.